How do you make Shilonen really strong? Now in Genshin Impact 5.1, we're going to see the release of Shilonen, and she's going to be a pivotal character for Natlan and the future of Genshin Impact as she finally brings something within her kit that brings a lot of value for many of your teams. This includes a novelette team. Yes, it, it, it includes that. In any case, Shilonen is going to be an awesome character thanks to what she does, which is elemental resistance decrease, which is awesome, and healing, which is pretty cool, and you also get some DPS here and there. I mean, what better character can you name? It, we haven't gotten a character this good in a while, and I wanted you guys to be prepared on how to make her be as good as possible. Now, I'm going to start off with the main thing is that attack or attack percentage won't matter too much on Shilonen. Most of the stuff that she does is going to be defense oriented or related rather. So you're going to need to have a defense percentage artifact set as well as any sort of defense percentage weapon or crit rate crit damage depending on how you want to build your Shilonen. Now personally if I wanted to build Shilonen I'd go with multiple and I mean multiple artifacts that have defense percentage both as a main stat as well as a subset. If we're going to be talking about her artifact set, the Cinder City artifact set four piece is going to be her quote unquote best in slot. This is pretty much a tailor made artifact set for her and allows you to buff most of your team thanks to the use of this artifact set. And because Shilonen can do a lot of stuff with her defense percentage, you want your sands to be defense percentage, you want your goblet to be defense percentage or geo, depending on how you build her, whether you want a DPS or just simply a buffer. If you want just buff, go for defense percentage. And for the crit rate mask, if you want to go for damage, but if you want also some more buffs, defense percentage now the nice thing is that this isn't the only artifact set that you can use for her you can also use four piece of the obsidian codex if you really want to try to go for the most amount of damage she has a night soul blessing so it will work absolutely perfectly but if you still want a little bit more buffs but you just don't want to grind this artifact set the cinder city you want to go for the four piece of the noblesse if you don't want to use any of the other artifact sets you want to go defense percentage on the sand. You want to go goblet defense percentage if you want to do more buffs. As well as you want defense percentage on your mask. You could also have some other investment options that you may want to use. I wouldn't personally recommend these. But you definitely can use them. Such as the two piece of the husk or the two piece of the archaic or the two piece uh, with emblem as well as the two piece of the cinder city set i don't really recommend having these all together but if you don't have any better options you can use these now for her weapons you want to use obviously the signature weapon the peak patrol now this is going to be a weapon with mostly defense percentage and that is what you want out of these weapons. Now if you don't have this weapon, you will try to go for another defense related weapon such as the flute which is going to be a craftable weapon that is available to you in the crafting bench. You can straight up just get this weapon and you'll have a good time. This is a R5 able weapon so that's pretty nice as well. Um, if you still want some more 5 star options. There is the DPS one that I think Chiori has. Exactly remember the name, but the substats of that gives you some defense percentage, which is really nice. The Mist Splitter, which obviously gives you a little bit more crit damage as well as like elemental damage, which is pretty cool. Or you can use the Wolf Fang if you're a battle pass. The Cinnabar Spindle, if you played that event, that is in a pretty good free to play option if you guys have that in your kit it will allow you to do damage support and heal which is really nice to have and then you've got the favonius in case you need some energy recharge the harbinger of dawn now this is a purely free to play option and uh yeah it will it will be an okay one as for her talents now her talents are going to be all important from the normal attacks 
to the amount of skill to the amount of burst they all play a role in her kit so i do think that you guys should not prioritize a single one maybe the elemental skill and then the burst and then the normal attacks but the normal attacks are just as important as any of her other stuff so yeah i think just try to get as much on all of them they all play a role now for her sub stats as a total you want an energy recharge to be around 130 percent um you want a lot more defense if you want you know more heals or more damage crit rate if you're going to use a weapon like the favonius or the weapon like cinnabar spindle uh spindle or any of the weapons that don't really have crit rate value on them or crit damage value so that is going to be very very important now if you want more healing done you're going to need er defense percentage and yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much what you need but if you want more damage you can go with crit rate crit damage defense percentage and then er uh, to be the last thing you focus on now for potential teams potential teams that you could use are going to be with Arlecchino or Arlecchino are going to be with Nuvlet they're going to be with Moalani and it there are a lot of teams so let's talk about the Arlecchino one Arlecchino is going to be the basic vaporized team with Shinkcho or Yelan Arlecchino and then you have Shilonen and Bennett this is a pretty strong team and you always have that buff going whether it's from bennett or from shilonen then you have a team for geo characters and this geo character team could have either navia or ito or any other geo dps as your main character or your main hyper carry and you have furina and then you have shilonen as well as bennett all of them will benefit from Bennett's buff, Shilonen's buff, and Furina buff. This is a totally hyper carry team that you're going to need to have. And since Furina is going to apply a lot of Hydro, you won't have a lot of problem crystallizing for Nav. Now another team that you could go for is Nivellet. Nivellet, Furina, even Kazuha, as well as Shilonen. This is going to be amazing. Characters like Kazaha as well as Shilonen will get rid of all the resistance. Furina will help buff your Nuvlet, and Nuvlet will absolutely go to town. And Crystallize will be one of the things that Nuvlet uses for his passive, and Swirl will also be one of those things. And then you will have a pretty good fielding. Then there is the other ones that I wanted to mention, which is the Natalin ones. And this one I have is going to involve Moalani, uh, it's going to involve Toma, Shilonen, and Kazaha. You could replace Toma with Xiangling if you want a little bit more damage, and I think I would recommend that just have Xiangling run a lot of energy recharge, which I think you are already, so that's going to be pretty nice. So Sharknado is going to be a thing. Both Pyronado from Xiangling as well as Moalani's Sharky Bites are going to deal a lot of damage thanks to Shilonen as well as Kaza. You could replace Kaza here with Furina if you really wanted to, but she will be, you know, there'll be a little bit of a mix up between Moalani's Vaporize uh, with uh, Xiangling because Xiangling and Furina will be vaporizing off each other. If you don't want that to happen, just use Furina's heal in case you really need that but you already have Shilin and heal so i do recommend kaza in this team comp now there are other you know teams that you could use such as with a full-on geo character team like with four star characters with Zhongli, with Shilin being the main character of choice now Shilin is going to be the dps so you're going to have a team with Zhongli, with albedo or goro with um maybe even yunjin that would be pretty cool or have a team with furina to try to buff up chilonen but yeah i mean that is all the team that i can think of at the moment i'm sure you guys have some fun teams that you could play with let me know what you guys are going to be doing in the comments and yeah that is all i could think of right now if i have some more i'll let you guys know but that is going to be it for now let me know if you guys think i missed anything and that'll be it thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy if you guys did subscribe like see you guys in the next one